A 27-year-old is dead after he was shot by police in this Winnipeg suburban neighborhood after a call was placed to 911. Winnipeg police say when officers arrived on scene, they found a man armed with an edged weapon assaulting two other adults. Police Constable Rob Carver says officers had to use lethal force and shoot the suspect, who was then rushed to hospital in critical condition where he died of his injuries. You, you bring the tools and the tactics that you have at your disposal. We can never um, be sure how it's going to unfold. Unfortunately, this is a tragedy for everyone involved, including our officers. The two people assaulted inside the home also suffered serious injuries. Police say one was taken to hospital in unstable condition, the other in stable condition. Right now, police have not yet released the names, ages, or genders of the victims or how they knew the 27-year-old man. Sid Farmer lives in the neighborhood and said he heard the sound of sirens around 4.45 this morning. While he can't recall anything violent like this happening on the street in the past, Farmer says it's a very strange scene to see. I was sleeping and I woke up to all your sirens going by and didn't know what was going on. There's a cruiser on Charles River, which I thought was very unusual. Police aren't sharing the number of officers involved in the shooting or how many bullets were fired. The Independent Investigation Unit of Manitoba has been notified and have now taken over responsibility for the investigation. Carver says any officer involved shooting comes with a certain level of trauma afterwards, even for officers who didn't directly pull the trigger, adding that it's important to have the right supports in place for any officer who may need them so that everyone comes back with a full understanding of what transpired during the high-stress situation. And make sure these officers can continue to function and, and that they don't become victims from this. The IIU is asking anyone who might have information or video footage that could assist in the investigation to come forward. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.